flagging someone down to figure out like, yo, where's my truck at? And eventually I got on the phone with the right people and I found out XXX trucking towing in which you really should be mindful of that they told my truck shady company at its finest. And when I say karma works, karma works when we least expect it. It's, it's, it's towing out of Charlotte, North Carolina. This trucking company just don't seem to stay out of the limelight. Here's another owner operator, female trucker. Shout out to Skimp D. She went on vacation, came back, and was a victim of Etz, Etz, Etz towing out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's hear her story. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I'm flagging someone down to figure out like, yo, where's my truck at? And eventually I got on the phone with the right people and I found out XXX trucking towing in which you really should be mindful of that they told my truck shady company at its finest. And when I say karma works, karma works when we least expect it. And they want $3,500 to for me to get my truck back when i say highway robbery this is the type of company that they go around charlotte and they post their own towing signs and tow your vehicle i made arrangements to go pick up my truck on like february 6th february 7th one of those days and i wasn't by myself of course and like when i say they're shady they do business it's just dirty, man. They're really, really dirty. And even the lot that they was at is shady as well. And the whole situation was just funny. So the person I was with and myself, we just took matters into our own hands. And granted, the police, so it's not much that the situation could have have worked in our favor, right? Long, long, long story short, eventually I got my truck back and I paid them the $3,500. Come June, June, I have to go to court because, again, we had took matters into our own hands. And this woman, she wants $1,700 back. So for y'all to get an understanding of this, I tried to seek vengeance. I wanted these people to pay for what they did. Eventually, they did damage my truck in retaliation of what um, we done. And it's kind of bittersweet in a sense, but anywho. We went to court and she wants the $1,700 back. I had a lawyer defending me on this case because I was charged with something, right? And I'm like, I'm not paying her. That's dead. I'm not paying her the money back. If anything, that $1,700 could go towards the damages of my truck. So I pay this man money who's supposed to be defending me. And he's like, you should just pay her. But I paid you. I hired you to defend me. He was more so nervous of the simple fact that if she didn't show up, case closed, case dismissed, he has nothing else to worry about. But it was the fact that she showed up and she wants money back. Again, the $1,700 came from, I was trying to seek vengeance. I was trying to put, take matters into my own hands and like tarnish this company. It was once I put it in God's hands, $1,700 just reverted back to me. I didn't pay the money. We're going to go to trial. I was like, we can take it to trial. It is what it is because y'all damaged my truck. If anything, that I, I deserve that 1700 September 21st come, no one showed up to court. No one showed up to court because the case wasn't about the money. The case was about the charge. She didn't care about the charge. She cared about the money. I ended up winning the case. The case is closed. It's done. It's settled. And today, they have multiple claims. Ill will on no one. But the way karma works... Karma doesn't miss no one. It doesn't. So that's why it's so important to like, treat people the way that we want to be treated because if not, it's going to come finding us in, in the ways that we least expect it. It does. $1,700 back? Back. How is it possible that they're going to come to you to get $1,700 back? You already paid them a little bit over $3,000. That's crazy in itself that they actually broke in the truck, illegally told your truck and inspected you to give them back another $1,700 after you just paid out 
three thousand dollars to get it back with no contacts this trucking company man i mean i talked to several truck drivers that has issues with this particular company man they just go out look for uh truck drivers trucks in areas that truckers can park but they want to put up a makeshift sign and says that no parking here like if i park here and then i come back and see a sign that's 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 shady that's 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 scammy right there because that sign clearly wasn't there when i parked and now you put it there and use that verbiage to steal literally steal my truck and hold my truck hostage until i pay you guys this not only happened to skimpy this happened to my happened to my guy sam this also happened to the popular tiktoker clarissa and several other truckers that was in the charlotte north carolina vicinity that is crazy this trucking company is a whole complete scam i am for trucking companies that does things on the up and up like if we park in the area that we see and know that we're not supposed to park there then there's consequences that we have to partake on but if we park there and there's no signage if we got permission or anything of that matter there is there shouldn't be a reason why this particular company should come up hook up my truck and tow it away and she's right about the the lot because clarissa said in her video that the lot they couldn't even find the lot was like in a in in the cut in the cut they break in these truck drivers trucks they damage their trucks and still still want the drivers to pay them x amount of dollars in the stratosphere to get their trucks back bro you broke in my truck you you damaged my truck so can we come to some type of compromise well we have to get in the truck you don't have to do all that damage in the truck this company is shady this company definitely definitely needs to be stopped they 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 are they are the focus of a probe they was on national and local news how is this company still in business i do not know but in any case shout out to skimpty unfortunately it was a bittersweet situation for her but as she said karma should always come for this company <laughs> lawyers man <laughs> see see she went and got a lawyer a lot of you tiktokers that be coming in a lot of you people that be hollering lawyer get a lawyer pay for a lawyer well she did that she got a lawyer and the same lawyer whatever the case obviously he wasn't a good lawyer he probably pretended to be a good lawyer but obviously he wasn't because he was trying to get her to accept whatever plea bargain that was formulated no sir no ma'am i hired you so you can so you can help me defeat them that was the whole point she paid money but this lawyer still couldn't do the job 
but there you have it she got a lawyer he wasn't a good one but for everybody that keeps saying get a lawyer get a lawyer get a lawyer well there you have it she got a lawyer she paid money and that same lawyer advised her to take whatever plea bargain that they was offering well there you have it unfortunately for x x x they is going through it with multiple claims against them i know that clarissa per her tiktok is probably leading that charge <laughs> she is definitely leading that charge to take down x x x towing and recovery slash boot operations in charlotte north carolina i hope everything works out for them i hope this towing company gets what they deserve i hope the people that had their trucks damaged by this company get what they deserve shout out to skip d for sharing her story guys make sure you go over and check out skimp d on her channel skimp d questions comments in the comments below let's get the conversation started about x x x towing out in north carolina have you guys had a situation with x x x towing and love to share your stories with us get at us at the gmail that's lockout men podcast guest at gmail.com take care and i'll see you in another one peace big cheese got it locked boy what you gonna let me all night yeah.